Hey guys, good afternoon. It is two o'clock in the afternoon here. I'm back here at the farm as usual. It is finally a Friday and we are just here to visit. In the meantime, I'm going to check on the poultry. And also, today I'll be discussing about the possible income of the 1,500 heads of layered chicken. So stay tuned. I need to have food bath here. So yeah, when you have a poultry, you really need to disinfect yourself just to avoid those um, unusual diseases and illnesses for your flock and yeah it's bright sunny day today here also um, i'm here to check on the chicken's condition it's quite windy not really windy but a few breeze of air here which is really good good for the chicken So I've instructed them to at least uh, start collecting in the morning so that you will get um, a clean egg. So look at those so you don't see so much of dirt. So if you let it stay for a long time, technically sometimes the birds or the chicken would poop on them. And here we needed to do something because I think the shells here are quite soft and thin so we needed to add some calcium for their diet hello so i'm just gonna make my voice a little low because i don't want them to you know be so stressed with me being in the building so they seem so relaxed because the wind is coming from both sides so look at that they're not really screaming and unfortunately i forgot my tripod again here there are like four um eggs that were broken or defect this one is the 1000 heads so as you all can see some of the chicken here are experiencing molting you can see they don't have feathers anymore and it's a normal cycle for the chicken so they do experience that once in their cycle they're changing feathers actually so what you can do for them because this time is a very stressful time for them because they're also trying their best to grow out their feathers so what you can do is just um, lessen their stresses so no noises don't let them expose to harmful chemicals and stuff like that and give them good diet probably more protein have to remember sometimes you know they can get injured because of this so look at that they twisted their neck from here so you have to help them relax relax okay there they're a bit noisy already because uh, in the next few minutes they're supposed to be having their meal so apparently some of them they still have the fingers they don't have any more So far so good um, I just instructed my boys to you know uh, take care of this sick chicken so I'm going back to the farmhouse because I needed to sort out the stuff of all the eggs because we have 
a delivery today again. So I'm currently here inside the house. I'm just resting because in the next few minutes we're gonna go again. So we decided not to deliver the eggs. Instead, we will deliver it tomorrow. Going to discuss the basic first and then we go for the uh, weekly and then monthly and then maybe quarterly okay the lesser the expenses that you will have the bigger the income that you'll be getting okay but you have to remember that 70% of your expenses goes to your feed so um, you have to make sure that your chicken eats really well so that can they can perform well they can produce more eggs and then you can sell them at a higher price because the the bigger the eggs here in the philippines the more expensive it is so now let's begin with the basic okay your chicken needs feeds so that they'll be able to lay eggs if you don't feed them definitely they will not lay any eggs for you so you have to make sure you give them the right amount one um, chicken will consume depending on the breed they will consume normally between 110 grams to 115 again this one depends on the breed of your chicken the second thing that you have to remember is they also need water and the electricity you need to have a lighting program for your chicken because your chicken needs at least 16 hours of daylight it could be artificial or um, natural the water consumption your chicken needs water in our case the 1500 chicken actually consumes about 900 liters of water every single day so you just have to make sure that they have the right amount of water lighting program and the uh, feeds so these three main things are very important for them to perform really well let's go first with feeds you have to make sure that when you look for feeds it has to be a good quality and also affordable since you would be needing a lot of water every single day thankfully in our case we don't have to look for any water source because uh, we're getting our source from our neighbor spring so we just connected our tube to their spring and then it goes to our place my god i'm feeling hot and then the third thing is also electricity electricity for us we decided to have a solar panel so we installed a lot of not really a lot but we installed a few solar panels so we don't have to spend for electricity as well because uh we only need actually just the light and then that's it um, you don't need much but at least you know it saves money as well now weekly um why i say it's weekly because for us uh, we do give supplementation like vitamins to our chicken so you know they stay stronger and healthy and they maintain their good production as well now if you don't give them any vitamins um, it's still okay but for us we just want to maintain a really good production so that's why we make sure we give vitamins to them now sometimes they also get sick and probably there will be bac bacteria and some other Viruses, you also have to prepare for that and normally we do give um, medicine medication as well okay so that one you need to set aside uh, some funds as your expenses I also like to add on the daily uh, you need to have um, trays like egg trays for you to be able to carry the eggs okay um, in the philippines we do uh, practice um, 
either selling or borrowing or exchanging um, egg trays so we save a bit um, normally it costs about five pesos but it would still depends on your operational costs if you want to do that you can add one tray per 30 eggs as your operational cost which is what i did in our uh, operation so i don't have to think about whether or not our customer will return back our egg trays now we go for the monthly now for us since we hired um, some workers to work in the farm of course we need to pay them right so we needed to set aside some funds for them and so it's part of our operational expenses as well now it depends on which part of the philippines you are located the rate their monthly rate depends on your area so for us we normally also give um free one sack of rice per month as well as um, some other allowances it will be up to your agreement with your workers also you will have to consider some other partly operational expenses as well like our net sometimes you need to put the net or sometimes like the tarp it's been twice already that i've been paying for the tarp because it gets damaged because of the rain the sun the wind so basically you have to make sure that you have something for for that so that's quarterly now i'm gonna list down all the expenses that we have and how much income you would be expecting every month and this is what we have i hope you guys have enjoyed my vlog for today and i hope you got something for today's vlog i'll see you again next week guys it's friday again bye